Hello everybody, how are you? David DeFranco here from ddefranco.com slash ask, which is where you guys can ask your questions, and just maybe I'll answer them in videos such as this one, even if I am a little sick. I caught a cold from that camping trip this weekend. Awesome trip, but sleeping sucked, and I guess that led to a cold. Anyway, getting to today's question comes from Chris Christofferson96. It says YouTube in parentheses, so I'm assuming that's his channel. Very awesome. I will link him below. So thank you very much, Chris. Chris says, hey, David, I follow many of your channels, both your main channel, mobile channel, and your gaming channel. All links are below. But I wonder how you manage multiple YouTube accounts. I feel that it can get a little messy with multiple accounts. Do you use multiple browsers, and do you find other methods effective? P.S. I really enjoy your vids. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Chris. And this is an excellent question that I feel many, many other YouTubers should pay attention to. First of all, I should say that yes, I do have multiple channels. YouTube.com slash the creative one. You're watching right now. YouTube.com slash the creative one mobile. That is a channel entirely dedicated to videos uploaded from my iPhone 4S. YouTube.com slash DeFranco Gaming. Those are my gaming captures and all that good stuff. And finally, YouTube.com slash Tech Social Video, which a lot of people don't know about, but if you go to TechSocial.com on a regular basis, then, well, then you do most likely know about it. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I just want to plug myself real quick, and I'm sure some of you are wondering what those other channels were, so there you go. Okay, so to answer your question, Chris, first of all, I should say, yes, I do use multiple browsers. Safari is my primary browser for the creative one. Um, Chrome is always used for DeFranco Gaming. It's actually open right now. It's always open to my left. That way I can refresh my stats and upload like that. Firefox is usually used for clients because I do upload videos all the time for people other than myself, but if I'm not using it for clients, then I use that for the Creative One Mobile or Tech Social Video. And also, Firefox is very good at saving passwords. I think it's actually better than Safari. I know there's extensions I can install. I still have to get around to that. Uh, but Firefox memorizes all my passwords, so if I want to switch from Tech Social Video to the Creative One Mobile or even to a client's account, then I can with, well, ease. Now, I don't want to keep this video totally boring and just talk about my browsers. I did want to take this minute and explain why or why not you should use multiple accounts on YouTube. And this is just my opinion, but I have seen this advice shared from even bigger YouTubers, and well, I have seen it become the truth. Okay, now what am I talking about? I am talking about your audience. If you have a large, large audience of at least 50,000 subscribers and up, that's my personal rule, then I think, yes, you can get away with creating a second channel dedicated to more niche content, more unique content, uh, basically content that only appeals to a certain number of your larger audience. For instance, my mobile account. My mobile account has, I think, 8,000 subscribers, but my primary account has over 50,000. So of those 50,000 people, I do have 8,000 people who are interested in actually seeing my mobile videos of, you know, Hunter, or whatever I record outside the house with my iPhone 4S. And that's something I really appreciate because that's something that maybe 50,000 plus people might not enjoy. You will never ever please everyone. Trust me on that. Uh, so yes, it is a good idea to have separate channels for niche content, such as my gaming channel. I would never ever put video game captures on my primary channel because there's a very good chance that I have maybe half of those 50,000 people expecting tech videos, like, you know, such as tech reviews and unboxings or family videos and not expecting gaming content. And that alone can turn people off because there are some people out there who are not even into gaming whatsoever. And, and you know, that's something I respect. Gaming to me is a big part of my life. I've been gaming since I was probably like three years old or whatever. So yes, I will always be into gaming, but there's no reason for me to force that into my primary channel's audience. I forgot to activate caffeine. Speaking of caffeine, guys, our coffee maker died. Side notes, I'm just dying a little bit inside. However, with all that said, Chris, if you think you can create multiple accounts and appeal to multiple audiences, then by all means, go for it. However, it's like a bird fest that echoed off my wall, kind of scared me. Uh, but if you think you can cram all that content into one audience and you think they'll all be interested, while well, most of them will be interested, then by all means, go for that as well. Just study your audience, ask them what they want, and also just put out what you want and see how they react. And over time, you will learn about how to manage multiple accounts or just even one account. 
So thank you very much, Chris, for that question. This is a great excuse for me to go into detail about that situation that I feel many people will run into over time. And of course, today is an Ask a Question video, which means you guys do get a free audiobook courtesy of audibletrial.com slash the creative one. Today's free audiobook was actually personally recommended from Audible. They, I guess they actually personal, personally emailed me, which I think is cool. So check this out. It's called I'm Feeling Lucky, The Confessions of Google Employee Number 59. Normally costing $34.94, this audiobook is yours for completely free. Just check out the link below, audibletrial.com slash the creative one, copy and paste the title, and it's yours to keep forever. And also, you do get a 30-day free trial for audible.com. So thank you very much to Audible for making that possible. And of course, as always, even bigger thanks to you guys for watching this video. If you want to submit your own question, just go to ddefranco.com slash ask. And I'm going to go. I'm obviously feeling under the weather, but I wanted to get this video done for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. That bird doesn't sound too happy.